My name is Otmar Olshina, and I am one of the software developers on Firms. And today I'll be covering web services, which is uh, another way for you to get uh, Firms data and use it in GIS applications, such as QGIS, ArcGIS, Google Earth, or in your download script. So to access our web services, it, there is a direct link on our front page here. We have one for Global and US Canada. But today we'll be discussing global. They're pretty much identical. And uh, once you select the web services option, uh, these are the different services we provide. So before I start, I'll mention that we have uh, tutorials and examples at the bottom. So everything I'll be discussing today, you can easily uh, find the step-by-step -step instructions with pictures how you can establish different services. For example, web map service, uh, web feature service using ArcGIS or QGIS, or using KML for Google Earth, and also links to examples for our code and uh, some other suggestions what you can do with uh, our data. So uh, let's first discuss the CSV KML and shapefiles option. This is uh, our oldest data service and it uh, generates uh, downloadable files for various uh, areas of the world. They are updated once an hour, and you can easily download it and use it in your uh, GIS application. So for example, shapefiles are great for ArcGIS or QGIS, uh, Google Earth KML, uh, as it states, it's good for Google Earth. And then text files, uh, you can either open in your text editor for Excel spreadsheet or do some additional work in your ingest script. Uh, for our map services, we offer a web map service. Um, so before anyone can actually use our map services uh, or API, we ask them that they need to register for a free map key, which is very easy to sign up for. You just put your email address here and you will receive an email that will look something like this where at the top you'll have the map key that you can readily use uh, within our application with also links and references to different tutorials, which you can also find from the page, as I mentioned, the one for tutorials. But this is just to give you a quick start. And um, so for those who don't know what map, web map services are, it is essentially a service that generates a map for you of the most recent fires. And a lot of the GIS applications, they have easy way to integrate this type of service in there. And just to uh, showcase how easy it is to uh, put this, for example, in a GIS application, I'll uh, paste my key here and take this string. And as I mentioned, this is in our tutorial, so you don't have to worry about missing anything. And uh, I'll open, uh, here I have already opened ArcGIS online. I'll try to add a layer from URL. Paste the URL to firms, including the, the key. Please don't use this one because I'll be disabling it after the webinar. And now it will give you the list of available layers for that specific uh, layer category. So in this case, let's say we want to visualize Mode is 24 hours, and I'll do that because they load much faster. And now uh, here you have it. So this is how easy it is to add our fire data to a GIS application. Now, similarly, uh, we offer um, W feature service, which is uh, uh, just provides the actual additional information about fires we, uh, containing a geospatial value that the GIS application know how to integrate. So all this data now becomes available to you within the actual application, so you can do additional analysis. Now, for those uh, who are interested in writing their own scripts, uh, we have API programming or application programming interface. Again, the map key reference is at the bottom, so if you need to set it up, and it works for API and the map services. And uh, at first, I'll quickly show the data availability. 
which will give you Let me copy this again here. And display results. And this will give you the list of the data sets that we have with their uh, temporal ranges. So most users are generally interested in the NRT because that's the most recent data. And uh, for that, you can just go to our, for example, area or country API REST endpoint where you can subset values by, you know, area of your interest, selecting the appropriate source. This includes the ultra real-time and real-time data, so you will get the most up-to-date data. Unfortunately, that mostly applies to North America for the ultra real-time and real-time for now. And now you can get the data for that specific region. Now the date is optional, so if you don't provide the date, you will get the most recent data for that region up to 10 days. If you do provide date, then you can uh, query for a specific uh, uh, date region, date area that you are interested in. But for many, this is probably the easiest and the best way to get the most recent data. And similarly, we have one for country, where they can select a country and it will uh, subset the data specific to that region. We don't recommend using it for big countries such as US, Canada, China, or Russia, because their polygons are a little too large, so the query may time out on you. So for those, uh, you might need to use download feature if you want historical data, uh, or just use some other subsetting. But for all the other countries, this is actually very efficient and works well. And uh, we also have one for uh, KML fire footprints that show rectangular area where the fire detection is. And uh, the newest addition that we have in our system is uh, under tutorials, you can find section for Fire Data Academy. And now this is for those who want to start learning or using Python to download uh, our data sets. So even if you don't have much programming background, we believe you should you would be able to follow this and easily implement the solution using Python. Now, some of you might be a little bit, uh, you know, scared uh, to use Python because you might need to download it on your computer and set it up. But Google offers a, a great uh, virtual Python environment, which is free. If you have a Gmail account, for example, you can easily sign up for it. It takes less than a minute. The step-by-step -step instructions are included here. And once you sign up, you will get an environment that looks like this. So in your browser, you can start writing Python code. You click on this play button and it will execute it for you. So this takes away a lot of installation processes that you will have to otherwise deal with. So if you just wanna start learning about Python or using it for some of your uh, ingest scripts, you can start doing it here. And you can also save your work and share it with your colleagues. Now, with that in mind, we created several little tutorials, which will show you how you can use firm's data, how you ingest it, how you can uh, subset it, you know, teach you about the variables, and with very basic code to give you the idea how you can quickly get more out of the, our data, including applying a time zone. So this way you can have data sets that corresponds closer to your uh, country as far as like where, when the data was detected. And uh, at the end, we just have the little quick summary. So as you see, it's just a few lines of code and you already learn how to subset. Uh, similarly, we have one for data visualization. So this will actually teach you how to color code uh, fire detection based on time since detection and also apply a background map. So at the end, you can end up with something like this, showing Canada wildfires from July 12th, 2023, and color coded by four different colors. Now with that in mind, I think that concludes uh, our webinar.